28 7 and 7 for LeBron in the victory. He's speaking with Mike in the media. Hey, LeBron, I just wanted to gauge the importance over your career of having vets at the end of the bench, uh, like a Dudley, that can still come in and give a positive impact on the court, you know, as opposed to just sort of leave behind the locker room and uh, just what you've seen from that over the course of your career. Um, I've been fortunate enough to play with some um, real, real true professionals uh, when it comes to that role and guys that are stars in their role. And does is another uh, one of those guys that whatever the team needs, man, I mean, literally, whatever the team needs, he is ready for whatever, both on and off the floor. And that is a, um, a diamond in the rough to have for, for, for a championship aspiring ball club. And uh, does has been that for us the last two years. Yeah, with, with everything going on this season and how unique games are, no fans and stadiums, you guys are still 7-3. I uh, just wondered if you could assess uh, what you've seen from your squad at this point. Uh, through the first 10 games, I think we've played uh, uh, B, B-plus basketball, um, and, and that is absolutely okay because uh, we are a team that's uh, that added uh, four, well, basically five new pieces to the rotation. And, and Tres and Dennis, um, Mark, um, you know, Wes and also Taylor. Um, you know, we've added five new pieces to our regular rotation, and we're still learning each other. We're we're getting accustomed to you know different lineups, playing with different guys. Um, but um, I think through the first ten games, uh, we've played pretty good basketball. You know, we want to be better, and uh, but you know through first ten games, I think BB plus, uh, I will give our grade, and uh, that that lets me know that we have room to improve, which is a which is a bright spot. Can you guys hear me over there? I can. Okay. Um, you're frozen on my side, but I'm going to keep going. Uh, Kyle? Hey, LeBron. Um, just specifically with Wesley, um, you guys obviously were really connected well, especially in the third quarter. What has a guy like that, uh, who, who obviously a great shooter, um, what, what has he adapted to to kind of get into places where you can get the ball to him? And, and what have you learned about his game? Um, I mean, he's a D and three guy, um, you know, defensively, he's going to always take the, the matchup of the best perimeter guy on the other side. Um, and, and that's what, that's what gets him into the flow of the game, you know, defending, you know, Zach Levine tonight. Um, I think we lost connection. Can you guys hear me? Allie. Thanks, LeBron. Trying to do it once. Enjoying what? Yes. Yeah. It's coming back. Can y'all hear me? Okay, hold on. Keyboard's so sensitive. Can you all hear me? Yeah, you said he's a DM3 guy. Can y'all see me? Yeah. Okay, well, I can't see him. All right, all right, whatever. So Wes Matthews is, is big time for our team, a D and three guy, and um, you know when he's uh, you know you know running the floor or he's finding himself on the weak side, I just try to find him. And uh, when he has space, he has a quick trigger. And tonight was another um, another example of him uh, just knocking down shots, but also defending at the same time. Hey. Brian, it was another strong night from Trez. Uh, I wanted to read you a quote that he said a couple days ago to describe what you guys do. He said, uh, you know, we play to the style of everybody's game. Uh, nobody's looking at it like you have to do this, you got to do that. We play basketball over here. It's free flowing. Nobody tries to go outside of themselves. What does it take to put together a collection of guys that, that can play that, that way? Because I imagine you've got to have structural concepts, but maybe not structure like every single play uh, throughout the course of the game? I think um, at the end of the day, when, when you when you have guys that has one common goal, and that's to um, win a championship, have championship aspirations, um, you put yourself in a position where you are sacrificing even yourself for the betterment of the team, you know? And, um, and I think that's what it's all about. I mean, um, no one here is trying to do more than what they can do. Uh, we're all trying to fit in and be the, the greater of all um, of each other for the better of the, 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 the parts of our team. And, um, and that's defensively, that's offensively, and that's, uh, that's just the, the, the model that we live by. You know, we want everyone to feel comfortable 
um, who's ever out on the floor, no matter what the minutes are, whatever the case may be, we want everyone to make an impact and um, and, and be themselves and, and and do it for the for the better of the team. Can you call my name, Dan? Hey, LeBron. Um, what's your feel for the rest of the league right now? I know obviously things are so strange. The lineups change all the time. Um, is it is it feel different as you see teams and, and kind of get your first looks at them throughout the year uh, this year versus any other year? Uh, yeah, I mean it's totally different, obviously. Um, you know, in a back-to-back -back situation like tonight, you know, having a home home. Um, you know, the fans will give you that extra energy, um, give you that extra push. You know, if you're able to make a run, um, like we were like we were did uh, in the fourth quarter at one point, you know, the fans get extremely high, um, loud, um, and they give you an extra, like a third um, uh, gas, you know, um, a third wind. You know, so, you know, the games, you know, on the home and on the road are just, it's very challenging. You have to have it mentally. You know, you have to give each other energy. You have to give yourself energy. Talk your way through a lot of it. Say, so, you know, um, you know, challenge yourself. So uh, the games are definitely different. And then going on the road, um, it's our first time. You know, playing Houston on the home home for them is going to be different as well. But you know, we look forward to it. Last two questions, Bill Hey, LeBron. This is probably a dumb. Does this is probably a dumb question, but do you notice the fan noise that is typed in? Like, does it have? I know it's obviously you obviously can't recreate the the energy of a crowd, but like, does that is, is that on your radar in any any way, or is it just white noise? No, nah, it's, it's it's more like white noise. Um, you you hear it, but it it, it does nothing. <laughs> it does nothing for you. Um, um, as far as uh, you know, emotionally or anything like that, I, it is definitely like white noise. Um. You know, I actually, you get more riled up. I get more riled up playing the video games, actually, when I hear the crowd going crazy when I'm playing Madden or, or, or one of those video games. So, um, but but we're trying, and the league has done a great job, obviously, here at Staples Center. We, they do a great job of just trying to simulate as much as possible. But, um, you know, nothing can simulate, you know, the Laker faithful, that's for sure. Last question, Rob Schaefer. Hey, LeBron, I spent a lot of tonight matched up with uh, Patrick Williams. I was just wondering what you thought of the job he did uh, defensively. Um, I think he's a, I think he's going to be exceptional talent. Um, long arms. Um, you know, he has Kawhi-type uh, hands that I noticed out on the floor, so I knew I couldn't play with the ball much. Um, you know, and you could tell that he's uh, he's just laser sharp on on just trying to get better and better. Um, you know, didn't say much at all. I mean, I don't I don't say much at all on the court um, when I'm competing versus individual unless things are said to me. But he just kept his uh, he just stayed sharp on the game plan, and um, I think he's going to continue to get better and better. Has a great in between game. Um, but if you if you notice his hands though, his, he has you know like I said, Kawhi type hands. Um, that's going to benefit him a lot um, throughout the course of this season, throughout the course of his career. So. Uh, I think Chicago has a good one, um, and you know he just has to continue to get better, um, continue to improve, um, you know, and, uh, and see what happens. All right, thank you. Thank you. Shout out to LeBron. I don't